Hey everybody, this is Snowy here and today we are going to talk about City Skylines. We are not going to play it, but we are going to test something. Because recently on Facebook I saw somebody posting a screenshot uh, that that person had like a 6 core processor with 12 threads, the same as I have. And he showed in his screenshot that City Skylines, while running, was using all of his processors, all six cores, all 12 threads. Now, the weird thing is, we all know that City Skylines is only made for a maximum of four cores and eight threads. Now, I'm going to test this assumption by loading up an older map of myself, um, load game which will be Quasar, which I uh, activated here. Last update uh, is from 12th of June, but then that was the time when I stopped. So I'm going to load it up. And let's just see what happens to all these cores we are seeing here. So this will, as you know, this will take a few minutes uh, because it has to load a lot of assets uh, into memory also on the page file and what can I tell more about the whole system itself well the processor is an Intel i7 5820k it's a processor uh, Haswell processor uh, it runs natively on 3.3 gigahertz and I overclocked it to 4.2 2 gigahertz on 1.2 voltage on the CPU. There is uh, 64 gigabytes of memory available in core channel mode. Uh, yeah, what else to tell? I am just curious whether the game is actually using all processors or not. I don't know for sure if I can tell it by just watching these graphs or not, but there is there's maybe another way to figure out whether uh, the game is actually using all the processors or not. It has to do with the options you find here under details. You see all the programs are running here, yeah, including City Skylines. Now you can see it's already eating a memory. Now if you right click this button, and you click on set affinity then here you can basically turn off and on each individual processor for that program that is running so natively every program is usually uh, using all CPUs that are available but you can turn off CPUs as well so we are going to see if that makes any difference so far now, of course, we have our background programs running, so uh, if we are looking back at, at performance, then definitely the background programs will also have a little effect. Uh, for example, I mean, I'm recording this with Bandicam. You see it over here on the screen. Um, and furthermore, well, the Steam Workshop is present here, and well, that's it, actually. Now it's a matter of waiting until the game has loaded. So I have loaded the game in a somewhat lower resolution, this time just full HD, uh, also in a window mode, but I think for the simulation it does not matter, you know, at all, because like, yeah, some some people say also that City Skylines, uh, it does not really matter about graphics. It even, you can also see, well, as of now, it does not really, uh, affect the GPU uh, yet, which is by the way uh, 1070. So here it comes, it loaded in roughly 3 minutes. Okay, ignore this error, I always get this, uh, this error, um, it does not do any uh, harm whatsoever, it's just a broken asset exception, I click OK and I just run it. Now let's see if I can start the game by press pause, press spacebar. Uh, oh, yeah, can you start please? Thank you, thank you. Now let's speed up the speed to full speed, like that. Now let's see what we... Whoa. 
wait a second i want to zoom in on a location where it's like i don't know busy somewhere and then get out of this view so let's see this is also still with despawn mode off yes it is okay now let's see if i can get out of here by alt enter no that's the wrong one <laughs> oops sorry yeah oh, 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 oh i did not expect it the game in the in a window to do this uh, okay not alt enter but then uh, alt up maybe can i get out of this view without this motion please thank you well what do you know this thing will not sit still when i'm Well, that's nice to know <laughs> but look but look at all, all these uh, cpus by the way i mean so ignore the game for now i mean it's uh, it's running but look at the cpus they're all being used actually so process the total amount of gpu uh, uh cities is over here cpu usage it says 70% roughly cities 50% 41 gigabytes of memory being used uh, performance and they are all running well 4.2 gigahertz no, of course not the maximum I mean if they spike all the way to the top then they are at maximum but this is rather interesting now if we go to you details again and we go to cities uh, oh get over here you and let's say set affinity let's turn off two of these processors because two is one because these are two threads of course and click OK and then we go back to performance then actually one of them should drop or basically two is that happening yeah, this, this one is dropping, as we see. Interesting. And probably 10, 11. We see 12 threads over here. So technically, and I shut down one CPU. So technically we should see two threads falling down. But of course we have background processors. But we see this one going down just because I set the affinity in uh, for city skylines for that processor off okay now let's get back to the details uh, let's get back to cities if it stops hovering and set affinity now let's turn on those two again okay and then to performance now let's see what happens here spikes up again ha huh, interesting this is interesting so what does this mean does this mean that city skylines will actually use more than four cores or not by looking at these figures I would say yes I would definitely say yes now I don't have an eight core processor or even a bigger core but you know maybe there is somebody who wants to test this out um now let's get in here again and let's see what happens if i just quit the game just quit it just to desktop and they are all dropping you see that guys they are all dropping that means like that all the cores were actually being used by city skylines so city skylines does use more than four cores wow you know i have been thinking you know if you are upgrading your computer um, and it would use more cores i mean i've been thinking sometimes about uh, because this processor actually is already six years old um you know you can choose for a, a amd ryzen or a thread ripper i mean with a lot of processors that would definitely help with uh, with the simulation speed you know with so many processors 
but if you have like uh, the Intel, uh, I don't know exactly, 10,900 10, somewhat, it runs at a maximum clock speed of 5.3 gigahertz, but only has 10 cores. I wonder what actually would be faster for the game. But okay, I cannot test it whether you know City Skylines would um, support a I don't know a 16 core processor or not. But yeah, let's just hope that somebody uh, might try to uh, you know explore the possibility. So um, I would say to anybody who has like a AMD Threadripper, you know, with 16 cores, 24 or 32 cores. Please try out this method and, you know, put a video on YouTube and uh, send me the link. So, okay guys, thank you for watching and I hope this uh, was a quite informative uh, video. And it does show, basically, that, yes, City Skylines does use more than four processors and more than eight threads. Okay guys, thank you for watching and until next time. See you. Bye bye.